This tutorial covers the creation of serial numbers, date codes, and more. To create a serial number, you're just going to start with a basic text box. So we're going to go ahead and create text. And once that text is created, we can come over here under the Object Properties area, and we can see there's a box for Enable Variable Text. We're just going to check that. Now once we check that, it's going to give us more options and those options are what's going to allow us to create serial numbers, date codes, and more. So we can start by adding a new item, okay, and that's a new text element. So if we look here, we have several. We have a fixed text, which would be just static text. We have serial numbers, date codes, timestamps. We have some communication protocols if you want to trigger a outside source uh, over TCP IP or serial communication to get information or if you want to read from a file, a keyboard or anything like that. Those will be covered in a separate tutorial. For now we're just going to focus on the fixed text, uh, serial number, date code and time. So first we're going to look at our serial number. Once we click that you can see we've got multiple options here that we can set up to program our serial number. We've got the starting serial number, the current serial number, the limit, which is the max, the increment, which is the number of steps it'll take each time. We've also got some other methods of manipulating the uh, text here, which I'm not going to get fully into. We can also uh, set this up to reset at a specific time. So if you want to set that at a specific time, uh, to clear the current serial number and reset. For example, if you hit your third shift and the end of that third shift is over at a specific time and you want your first shift operator to automatically start with new serial number for the day, you can do that. So just to create a basic serial number, we're going to start at, let's say, 1. We're going to currently be at 1. And we're going to give ourselves a limit of, let's say, 9, 9. 9 9 all right now we can go ahead and click OK and now you can see we have our serial number now when I mark this serial number will automatically increment each time I mark let's say you don't want these leading zeros you do want your number to go up but you don't want all these false spaces so to speak or, or uh, non-used spaces come over here and click on the serial number and modify it once you modify it, you can choose no leading zero, click OK, and now you can see I have just the starting digit. Now as this grows and becomes two digits, you will get an additional digit, so on and so forth. I'm just going to come back over and modify this. I'm going to put my zeros back on. Uncheck no leading zero, and now you can see we're back to where we're at. Now I'm going to come over and modify this, and I'm going to show you how to do a basic date code. So I'm just going to modify the serial number change it to a date code. In the date code settings you can see we have a lot of different options to choose from. We have a four digit year, a two digit year, the month, the day in the month, day in the year, day in the week, week in the year, or user defined which you can set up. So we give you a lot of options. A very common one would be the day in the year which is the Julian date. If I select that and click OK you can now see because it is the sixth it is the sixth day of the year. It is January 6th, and so we're seeing a, a, a Julian date code for that. Go ahead and modify this one more time by selecting it. Click Modify and show you a timestamp as well. Clicking on Time. So you have the option here to add several of these. You've got hour, uh, 24 hour, 12 hour, minute, second, so on and so forth. And go ahead and show you the 12 hour. And now you can see it is currently 2.52 p.m. And so you can see that we have the hour. Now what if you want to add other items to this number? What you're going to do now is build onto this. So let's, let's start fresh. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And I'm going to add a new one. So let's say we want to start with a four-digit serial number. We're currently on starting at 1. But let's say we're at 1,245. And our limit is let's say 10,000. I'm going to go ahead and put that serial number in there. Now you can see our serial number. And now I want to add in addition to that a date code. And I want that to be the day in the year, the Julian date. I'm going to add that. And now you can see we've got that Julian date set behind that. 
I want to go ahead and add one more thing which is going to be a timestamp and I want to make this a timestamp that gives me the 24 hour the minute and all the way down to the second so I'm going to go ahead and add the hour first and the 24 hour time frame you can see since it's past two just past two o'clock 254 almost three it's at 14 it'll switch to 15 I'm gonna go ahead and add in another one which would be the minutes and I'm gonna add one more which would be the seconds so now you can see we've created quite a complex uh, unique serial number by adding a four-digit serial number a Julian date code 24-hour version of the hour along with the minutes and the seconds now this text will not update as I'm sitting here watching the screen however if I go to mark it will update to the correct minutes hours and seconds before it marks so you will not see a live update it will not tick uh, or change like a clock when you're viewing the software however it will update when you go to mark this is a little crowded so this is where the fixed text that we discussed comes into play so let's say we want to add a divider just a, a backslash in between our serial number and the start of our uh, Julian date we can do that now you see it's at the end so all I'm gonna do is move this up to where I get to where I want to be and move it up one more now you can see I've got my four digit serial and then I've got my backslash and I've got my Julian and I'll just add another in to give you another quick example there's a dash and let's put this dash in between the Julian and our timestamp. So now you can see we've divided that. If you really want to get your time accurate, we're going to put a colon in there. And I won't take this all the way up, but you'll get the picture here. So now we have our hours with a colon the minutes and the seconds and you can see each time I've changed this it did update that's because I made a change over here so either making a change here again or when you go to mark this will update however it will not update uh, as you're staring at the screen with nothing happening it will stay static until you go to mark that's a short overview on creating serial numbers and date codes mm -hmm.